India's general elections were meant to be a slam dunk for Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Instead, for the first time since his BJP party swept to power in 2014, it looks like it will not be able to secure a majority on its own. The shock result overshadowing his victory speech. On this blessed day, National Democratic Alliance is certain to form the third consecutive government. Citizens have expressed full confidence in BJP and NDA. Today's victory is a victory of the world's largest democracy. The leader had set his sights high, striving to achieve more than 400 out of 553 seats and a supermajority, with a polarising campaign centred around Hindu nationalist policies. But this idea of a supermajority may have been part of his downfall. The main opposition Congress party seized upon public fears that his party could seek to change the constitution. Buoyed by the results, they claimed the election as a moral and political loss for the Prime Minister. The country has unanimously and clearly stated we do not want Mr Narendra Modi and Mr Amit Shah to be involved in the running of this country. We do not like the way they have run this country. We do not appreciate the way they have attacked the constitution. The economy was also key to voter discontent. While under his leadership, the country has grown into the world's fifth largest and one of the fastest growing economies, critics say he has not addressed inequality. Millionaires have multiplied while youth unemployment has soared and a vast number of people still live below the poverty line. Modi now finds himself in uncharted territory. With more dependence on a coalition, he may need to shift towards a welfare-oriented approach.